In today's video, I'll show you step by step how you can create a more engaging drag and drop interaction in Articulate Storyline with states. So here's my Storyline project, and you'll see I already did some preparations. You'll see here a background photo, a rectangle, and question text. Uh, can you file the documents in the right place? Drag the documents to the right folder. So we're gonna create a drag and drop interaction where you must uh, drag documents to a folder. Now, let's start. Now the first step is to create my drop items. And therefore I go to the insert tab and click on icons. And now my search icons window will open and I'll choose folder here. And then let's scroll down to see the folder from my example and that is this one so i'll select it and click on insert and now it's on my slide so let it let make it a little bit larger right now so that's okay and this will be our normal state and now let's create the open state of the folder so what i'll do now is i'll go to states go to edit states click on new state it says open click add and now i'll create my own state so therefore i go to insert shape i'll choose this shape and i position it a little bit down i will format it with color so uh, no fill color but well a shape outline with a width of three no i think four is okay so with a width of four pixels we now have our first drop target with a normal state and an open state and later on we're gonna add another state a field state where there is document in the folder but now we're gonna create our first drop target. So I'll close on done editing states. I'll go to insert again, icons, and now I want to search for a document. And this is a good document. So let's insert this one. It can be a little bit larger. I think this is very good. But what you see now is that the uh, document is transparent. So what we are gonna do now is add two shapes uh, with white. So we will give this document a fill because it cannot be at this word as we choose shape fill the lines will be white and not the center. So what I'll do is I'll go to insert, go to shape, select a rectangle here, pick one rectangle and another, make it a little bit smaller. So that's okay. And now format this one and no outline and I will click with my right mouse and for send it to back, I click send backwards. So it's behind my folder now. And now I will group this. So for this, I press Ctrl G on my keyboard and it's grouped right right now. So this is our first drag target. And now create the new state of the drop target where the drop target is filled with the document. And therefore I'll copy the folder. I'll go, sorry, I'll copy the document. Ctrl C, I go to the folder, I click here on states and click on edit states. And what I'll do now is I'll duplicate this state and I'll choose the name field. You see Storyline now copied the state. And what I'll do now is I'll paste the document here. It's now here, but what I can do is I can drag it over here. And with my right mouse, I'll choose send back and send it backward. And now it looks like it's in the folder so what i'll do is i'll rotate it a little bit so now we have a field state with one document now what we can do now is to uh, copy this one and paste it so we have a second drop target and we can align it on the slide so this is okay what i'll do is i'll align them i group them and now i'll align them on my on my slide and i ungroup them with ctrl shift and g and now I want a new uh, text label under the under the document of under the folders. So here I draw a text label that says left, make a little bit smaller and place it in the middle. And we'll copy this text box and paste it here. And here it's right. So this will be a little bit of a word joke. Drag the documents to the right folder. This is the right folder. So it must be here. So what we have now on our slide are 
a, a drop target one, drop target two, and a drag item. So what we can do now is go to insert and click on convert to freeform. And on the convert slide to freeform question, we choose drag and drop and click on OK. And Storyline converts our slide now to a drag and drop freeform question. And what we can do now is choose here for the different uh, objects. So our document group will be the first drag item and the drop targets will be icon one and it has to be icon three. And we can also icon one for instance. And now let's go back to slide view. Now we have our drag and drop targets in place. We can uh, yeah, use some triggers to make it more engaging. So what I will do is that if I'll drag the folder, uh, the document over the folder, the folder will open. So let's create that for now. So what I'll do is I'll go to triggers. I'll choose change state off icon one to open and the user drags over. The object is group one and the target is icon one. So let's see what it does when we preview it. So if we drag this one and, and go here and you see that we can open the folder. And now let's close our preview and make the next trigger that it looks like the, the document goes into the folder. So therefore, what we are do, can do is create a new trigger that says change state of icon one to field one when and not user tracks drops when user drops the object on the target and the object here is group one and the target is icon one so and what we are going to do now is we have uh, created the next trigger that will hide the document so we'll choose change state off and i see now that we um, have a group and we cannot change the state of a group that's what i will do is I'll go to the document, to my timeline, I ungroup this, and I'll pick the rectangles, cut them, and I'll select my document, go to states, edit states, and now I'll paste them, and I'll send them backward, so they're behind my document, and now it's possible what I want with the action. <laughs> But you see that my first action also disappeared right now because yeah, it was a group and we changed the group to this document. So let's recreate the first action that says change state of icon one to open when the user drags the object and the object here is, let me see, icon two and two icon one. So let's click it and let's preview it quickly. So if I pick the document and you'll see the folder will open. So now we create our next trigger and the next trigger will be change state of um, icon one to field one when the user drops an object on this. So the object will be icon, no, the object will be icon two. So that is the document and the target is here icon one. So what happens right now if we preview it and open it and you see the folder will open and now I'll drop it. So I'll remove my I'll move mouse and you'll see the folder is now of the document is now in the folder, but the document is also in front of the folder. So we will create a new um, trigger that will hide this folder. Oh, sorry, the hide will do, hide the document. So what I'll do is I'll create a new trigger that says change state of icon two to hidden when user drops the target so the object will be icon two and it will be on icon one and let's preview it again so drop drag it it will open and i'll drop it and you'll see it's gone and it's now in the folder so this way you can create more interaction uh, engaging uh, drag and drop interactions where things really happen when a user uh, uh, uses the drag and drop interaction so I hope this gives you inspiration for your next project when you're using drag and drop interactions. I'm transforming my Articulate Storyline classroom training and also my YouTube tutorials to a laser focused online course on how to create engaging e-learning training with Articulate Storyline. Now, are you interested? You can join my waiting list and you'll be the first one to know when my online course will launch. You can find the link to the waiting list in the description of this video below. 
And if you want to create great engaging e-learning in our storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step guide on how I create e-learning in our storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.